G'day guys, welcome to Rumble's Fish Room. So before we get started, I've come to the realisation I need to build a coat rack. I've got my jumper hanging off a post there. Um, it's like 10 degrees outside and then 29 when I walk in here, so I need to take my jumper off. So I, I might build, when I build my new doors, I might put a coat rack on the back of one of the doors. But that's not what we're here for. So for anybody who doesn't know, um, I've got a leaking tank in the fish room. This tank has leaked for, before I had YouTube, I, I would say this tank has leaked for over two years. Or oh, easily two years, I would maybe even say three years. This tank has leaked since um, I, pretty much I started the fish room. So this tank leaked, it's to the point where I probably actually got to check out the rack and make sure the wood's not rotten. Um, I'm, not, I'm not exaggerating guys, this tank has leaked but it was only a tiny little drip. Um, it's escalated quite quickly, um, almost overnight, some would say. So now we've got to fix it. Let me show you the tank. All right guys, so if you watched last week's videos, I did point out, I noticed there's extra water on the floor. Um, I've, I've got to um, basically this tank drain it to like 10% and then slide it out and check all the plumbing. But before I do that, I might as well fix the tank that I know is leaking. Um, the only reason I don't think this excess water is that tank is because the, that leak was always that slow that there was only a small little puddle there. Um, and now it's escalated here and uh, you can it used to just be like um, it's hard to show it used to be like this wet just damp where you can't see any water but if you look here there's actually like puddled water so it's definitely extremely escalated but I don't know if it's this tank that's escalated it Who knows, who knows. I don't know why that drain pipe on that one's shorter than that side. That annoys me. Um, I thought this water level was lower from the leaking, but that, that water level's at the top of the drain pipe. In saying that, the water change system has been on like within the last few hours. But, um, anyway, so today's mission is to get rid of these fish. And by get rid of, I mean move them. We're not getting rid of them. Um, I might actually cull a couple of cobalt blues. There's some pretty shitty looking ones. Um, so. Oh yeah, all the air hoses just came off. So, uh, I, d I still want to keep them separate. So... I've got to try to keep the divider in while I catch the fish. Um, so this isn't a repair video guys, just to let you know. This is just a pull apart video because I have to pull the tank apart and let it dry for a couple of days and then do the repair. Because obviously I can't repair it while it's wet because what do you call it silicon doesn't stick to water so I tried to patch it the other day full of water silicon doesn't stick to water so you can imagine how that went so now we're going to find a net there's one here so um they're going up here so this is kind of a half uncut jibber jabby video, isn't it? Oh, my pants ripped. Not, well, my pants ripped. Oh, there's a, there's a polystigma in there. Um, so the Masobo have gone. Um, they're going to another breeder. So a good thing about that is at least I know the bloodline will get carried on. Uh, super nice fish. 
It's actually two separate bloodlines, I think. Money being in Australia, there's a chance that all the fish are from the same bloodline. I might wear them, these guys. It's a couple of skinny ones. I want to wear them everything. Oh, it's actually put quite a big group. Look at this little one. Can you see it? It's only like three centimeters. All right, I'll give. I'll be back in a minute. I'll catch these guys out. Did I even tell you what they are? They're cobalt blues. For anybody wondering, I kind of want to cull this one, but it's a, actually a good breeder. But it's got no tail. I'll keep it. His tail got eaten, it's not a deformity. Alright, so the next one is Nakali. Now, I'm going to have to rethink the housing situation after I've repaired the tank. I'm probably going to put the Nakali back in here. But I might need to find a new home for the Cobalt Blues because I didn't actually realise how many Nakali were in here until I... Um, until I pulled the all the decor out of the tank. I say the word decor, it's not decor. There might be a female holding here. Nikali are a tough one. No, she's not holding. Nikali look like they're holding when they're not actually holding. <sighs> Gets me every time. It's actually to the point where half the time I don't even check the Nikali for fry because uh, I have waste my time catching girls that aren't actually holding. Um, these are gonna look ridiculous in this tank here. I might even, I need to fix their filter. For some reason, doesn't have enough airflow, so I need to fix that, especially with this many fish going up there. I've got, I've taken their sponge filters out, so I might even put a couple of them up in the tank. Check out, that boy's quite nice. I think I've mentioned it in a video before, but I, I kind of want to line breed these. There's a there's a, this little male. There's like, th I've got three different bloodlines, Nakali. And I want to breed a specific male with the girls. He's not in here. They might even breed because I'm stressing them out and putting them in such a small tank. Sometimes that can actually trigger breeding. I should take photos of them in the small tank and post them on Facebook and say what do people think of the size of my breeding tank that'll wind the internet up I haven't trolled Facebook for ages so this is the boy here that I want to selective breed maybe I'll do that when I put them back in I'll, I'll vent the males out and I'll take all the males out except for him and he can have a bit of a party with all the girls oh, this is a mission one-handed guys oh, I've almost done it live caught them all live on camera it's not live that's the wrong word this is a pre-recorded video um, I hate it when like it seems to be kind of like an American thing people will like put like live in the thumbnail of a pre-recorded video it's not really on fish channels on other channels that I watch and like I still watch the video but it annoys me that it says live I should have dropped the water level for this oh we can just go like this take, take the standpipe out 
standpipes are good for draining tanks, guys. The only problem is this one seems to be ridiculous high, ridiculously high. I missed a cobalt blue before, so there's a cobalt blue in here. So we need to get him out. There he is. I just love cobalt blues, they look awesome. In saying that, I'm thinking about selling the cobalt blue colony. I never meant to have this many Mabunas, guys. For any of the OGs, you all know, I actually don't like Mabunas much. Haps and Predators are my favorite, are my favorite Africans. And we've got nearly none. <laughs> All right, so that that tank's empty. So I'm going to drain it, and then I'll have a little bit of a chat to you about what we're going to do. All right, guys. So this is how to increase the humidity in your fish room by 1,000. Um, so I'm draining this tank while I'm here, but that's actually going to be in tomorrow's video. Um, I've just finished draining that tank, and then. I'm going to show you what I do to get that last bit of water out because I know that's a question a lot of people wonder. So I can't actually take that tank out unless I drain that one as well because we'll actually and even then I don't know if I can get them out without draining without draining all of the tanks. Um, so I've got to repair the tank in there which does make it difficult but We'll, we'll make do. Uh, this, this hose is sticking to the glass. So if I put my thong here and get that in the right spot, it doesn't splash as much. I really should take better care. Like I'm getting all the racks wet, but it doesn't really matter. They're all painted. Um, if you're not an OG, another thing is to my racks don't actually sit on the ground. If I can zoom in one-handed, can you see that plastic plate underneath the timber? So the plastic plate sits on the ground and then also on top of that, the bottom of the racks actually are painted in fiberglass resin. So getting the floor wet like this is not a worry for me. All right, so pretty simple. It's gonna be a bit messy because these sponges are messy. Pretty much roll the sponge in there and then squeeze it out here. We're doing a bit of a double take here. We're actually cleaning the sponge at the same time as getting this water out. Um, it goes quicker than you would expect, especially when you're using two hands. Um, but it's got to be the fine sponge. The I haven't got a coarse one here, but the coarse ones don't do it as well. Look, I'm already probably halfway. I should do a little bit with all of them and then I'm cleaning my sp all the sponges. <laughs> all right, I'll be back. All right guys, so these two tanks have actually been a curse and I've just come to realize it. So I bought these two tanks, right? One of them had a cracked top brace when I got them and I didn't trust the silicon in either of them. So I resealed them and then um, I used the wrong silicon. It was a it was a long time ago and I used neutral cure silicon accidentally and it was um, the first time first time I'd resealed tanks. Well actually, I had built my eight foot um, pop prior to that. But th these were the tanks that I learnt that you couldn't use neutral cure, cure silicon on. So they actually started falling apart. So then I resealed them again and I cracked one of the bases when I was pulling them apart to reseal them. So I patched the base. Then moving them into this fish room, I cracked the other top brace. And then when I put them in here and I filled them up, there must have been a high spot in the rack and the other one cracked the base. So if you actually look at them, uh, Cracked base, cracked top brace, same on the other one. Um, so now I have drained one of them 
and one of my patches is leaking. I've patched more than five tanks and none of them have ever leaked. So um, they're just, they're straight out cursed. So one, two, three, four. I've repaired these five times already, if you include um, resealing them. Well, six, because I resealed them twice. Not resealed, like completely pulled them apart and rebuilt them. So that's seven. I've repaired these tanks seven times, and this is now the eighth. So if they leak after this, I'm taking a sledgehammer to them. <laughs> um, honestly, and I'm not joking, because if you look, it's two, two and a half foot tanks. And originally I was hunting for a five foot tank to make a five foot rack. And these are what I found. Now, um, if this tank leaks after this repair, that's eight repairs and leaking. Um, oh, and also there's another crack in it. That crack, um, can you guys see? That, that crack along the um, bulkhead, when I put the bulkhead in, I over tightened it and cracked the base. So, like, you can just, the, these tanks are a nightmare to me. Um, granted, the neutral silicon was my mistake, but I'm still putting that under the curse category. So, that's insane, guys. Considering, like, I don't. I, I've only ever repaired other tanks once. Even like the 7x4, the bottom I patched that, temporary, and it's been like three or four years and it's still holding. <laughs> um, so yeah, we'll repair this this time, but if she leaks this time, she's going in the bin. Um, I'm actually gonna repair it pretty good, but, cause like, I'm going to cover all bases. I'm going to repair some pair, repair something that isn't actually leaking, and I might put a fat bead along the back because it kind of looks like there's um, roots growing at the back, but I don't know if they're growing because there's water leaking there. But it, while it's empty, I might as well just throw a fat bead of silicon along there. These already aren't winning a beauty pageant, so some extra silicon on the back edge is not going to be detrimental to the visual effect of the tank. <laughs> but anyway guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe for more, hit that little red button. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.